It might feel like the world is ending right now, but we'll get through this. However, that's not necessarily true of every scenario. What is the most likely way humanity will be wiped out? Maybe it's something from space, or our planet, or us. Although the way the world ends might be because of you, and if this is the case, you wouldn't have any control over it. We're going to start with the world ending events from space, and then bring things closer to home. An asteroid impact is one of Hollywood's favorite ways to destroy the world, but how likely is it that an asteroid will wipe out humanity? Asteroid impacts are actually pretty common. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, an asteroid enters Earth's atmosphere about once a year. Granted, these asteroids are about the size of a car and burn up in the atmosphere, but this happens pretty often. That being said, an asteroid that size would not wipe out life on the planet, but a bigger one most certainly would. In 1908, which is not that long ago in the scheme of things, a 200-foot wide piece of comet entered the atmosphere and exploded over Siberia. The energy release was approximately 1,000 times more than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. That is a lot of energy, but not enough to wipe out humanity. It flattened vast amounts of forest and killed wildlife in the area, but Earth and humans continued on as normal. In order to wipe out most life on our planet, an asteroid would need to be around 6 to 10 miles across. The odds of an asteroid this size impacting the planet anytime soon is around 0.000001%, so we don't have to worry about extinction by asteroid quite yet. However, an asteroid impacting the Earth that is big enough to destroy the city or town you're living in right now has about a 0.1% chance of happening each year, so maybe you should still be a little worried about asteroids. The next world-ending event we wouldn't see coming, literally. It's estimated that there are around 10 million rogue black holes cruising around our galaxy. The tricky part about finding black holes headed our way is that by definition you can't see them. Since nothing can escape a black hole, not even light, they are invisible. But their effects on the things around them can be observed. This is how astronomers proved black holes existed in the first place. As the black hole approaches stars, planets, or anything else in space, it drags that object toward its massive gravity well. We can observe celestial objects being thrown off their natural orbits by black holes. We can also see light bend around the gravity of black holes, which allows astronomers to know that they're there. This is called gravitational lensing. However, if one of these interstellar monsters is lurking in the darkness of space on a collision course with our solar system, we wouldn't know until it was too late. The first indication that a black hole was entering our solar system would occur when the outer planets were pulled from orbit. We would watch as Uranus and Neptune disappeared into the maw of the black hole. The black hole wouldn't even need to pass directly through Earth to end the world. Just having one in our solar system would launch our planet off its orbit around the sun and we would freeze to death while hurtling through the darkness of space. Luckily, we don't really need to worry about this occurring, as scientists estimate that a rogue black hole destroying our planet is around one in a trillion. Now let's discuss some of the world-ending events that are closer to home. One of the most powerful natural phenomena on the planet are volcanoes. These exploding pieces of Earth's crust and mantle can cause such widespread damage that they can actually end the world. For example, 1783, the Laki volcano located in Iceland erupted. The lava, fumes, and ash wiped out around 9,000 people. The dust that was kicked up into the atmosphere blocked out much of the sun's light. This caused temperatures to fall by almost 9 degrees in the northern hemisphere, and that was a relatively small volcano. There have been five mass extinction events during the history of life on Earth. Six if you count the one humans are causing right now. It's likely that volcanoes played a role in several of the previous mass extinctions, and if the Earth unleashes its full potential like it has in the past, humans and pretty much all life on the planet will become extinct. So, how likely is it that a massive volcano will throw our planet into chaos? Unfortunately, scientists believe we are overdue for such an event. The chance of a massive volcanic eruption occurring are pretty high. There are approximately 40 supervolcanoes around the planet. At least one tends to erupt every 50,000 years or so. We haven't had a massive eruption in around 74,000 years, so we're overdue. The likelihood of a supervolcanic eruption that could end the world or at least wipe out the human species from the planet at some point in the future is 100% going to happen. That is, if something else doesn't destroy us first. We're probably much more likely to wipe ourselves out than something from the planet or space. However, this next end of the world scenario may be Earth's way of trying to get rid of us because of the damage we're causing to the planet. It's undeniable that humans are contributing to climate change by burning fossil fuels and depleting the Earth's resources, so how likely is it that the damage we're doing will be the thing that ends the world? If you ask scientists, some believe that it's a very real possibility that climate change is what will wipe out humanity. For example, 
One climate scientist named James Hansen says, if we burn all reserves of oil, gas, and coal, there's a substantial chance that we will initiate the runaway greenhouse. If we also burn the tar sands and tar shale, I believe the Venus syndrome is a dead certainty. What he's referring to is that if humans continue doing business as usual and burn all the fossil fuels on the planet, that Earth's temperature will increase so much that there would be a runaway greenhouse effect. This is because the amount of carbon dioxide and pollution we're putting into the atmosphere will continue to trap heat, causing our planet's temperature to increase more and more. At some point, there will be so much pollution in the atmosphere that Earth won't be able to cool itself down, and the temperature will just keep going up. In this end-of-the-world scenario, humans have a choice. If we choose to do nothing and just keep burning fossil fuels, there's 100% chance the world as we know it will end. However, there's something even more terrifying. There are some scientists that think we've already passed the point of no return, and death by climate change is inevitable. Regardless, Earth will bounce back once it gets rid of these pesky humans, but almost everything alive today will not be around to see it. A more immediate threat that humans pose to the planet and ourselves is destruction by nuclear war. It's estimated that within the next 100 years, there is a 1% chance humanity ends the world in a nuclear holocaust. That is a really grim thought. This could happen accidentally through a malfunction in a missile silo's computer system or intentionally by one government or another. Basically, the world is being held hostage by humanity's desire to stockpile nuclear weapons and blow one another up. There are approximately 3,750 active nuclear warheads as of right now. Some scientists estimate it would take about 100 nukes to end the world from the fallout and nuclear winter that would follow. So this means that humans have a 1% chance of ending the world 37 times over in the next century. Humans also hold the key to another end-of-world scenario. What about death by Terminators? Or to take it out of the realm of sci-fi, death by artificial intelligence. We've created very basic artificial intelligence at this point, and there's no possible way that our Alexas or iPhones will be taking over the world just yet. Although some of us might feel like they already have. But researchers from Oxford and Yale say there is a 50% chance that AI will start outperforming humans in everything we do in the next 45 years. This doesn't necessarily mean they'll take over the world quite yet, though. However, those same researchers predict that in about 120 years, every single human job will be able to be done by machines and computers with artificial intelligence. At that point, there would be no further use for humans, and the AI takeover would commence. So humans have roughly around 120 years before the machines take over. Let's take a step away from how humans could cause the end of the world and look at something we have no control over. Aliens. What are the chances that the world ends by alien invasion? Well, let's talk about the likelihood that aliens exist. Using complex statistical equations such as the Drake Equation and Bayesian Analysis, some scientists believe the chance of intelligent alien life in our galaxy is close to 45%. Most scientists believe that life of some kind in our galaxy is an almost certainty, but alien microbes probably won't be invading our planet anytime soon. However, many scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking, think that if aliens did come to Earth, it would be almost inevitable they would try to conquer the planet and wipe out humanity. Like when Europeans came to the Americas, some scientists suggest aliens might come to the Earth for resources and to take what they want while subjugating humans. Or perhaps also like our European conquerors, they would bring an alien disease with them that would decimate our species. So if aliens do exist, it's probably better they don't find our planet. Because it's more likely than not, first contact will be a world-ending event. Should you be worried about a hostile alien takeover though? No. The only natural resource on this planet that is not in embarrassing abundance all over the universe is, well, us. Everything else an alien may want to take our planet over for, including habitable territory, is in extreme abundance all over the universe, or easily created through some long-term geoengineering. And who would want humans as slaves anyway? We're rebellious, grossly inefficient, and advanced alien species would be better off with cheap, efficient, durable robots to do all their slave labor. But alien diseases are something you should definitely be concerned about, because while aliens may not want to purposefully invade our world and take our resources, they might accidentally wipe us out with a sneeze. A final way to end the world may be the most surprising of all. Maybe you will cause the world to end. What if the world we live in is just a dream or a simulation? If you were the one in control, even if you didn't know it, at some point you would be pulled out of the simulation, thus ending it. Whether it's a dream or some advanced computer game you are playing right now, when it ends, you would be what causes the end of the world. The scariest thing is that scientists say there's about 50-50 chance that we all live in some sort of simulation. So there's a 50% chance you're going to be responsible for ending the world. Please, do us all a favor, continue dreaming or playing this game of life. Because when you wake up or unplug, there's a 50% chance the rest of us will be blinked out of existence. Now watch scary experiments that could have ended the world. 
or check out Why You Won't Survive World War III.